This is George from Tech Legion. You know, we spend a lot of time looking at really big coolers. Coolers that are, you know, strictly aimed at the enthusiast overclocker uh, market. But that's not always uh, what's going to be needed uh, for cooling your system. Obviously, the day-to-day -day user, um, all, as well as the gamer, aren't going to need that type of cooling. If you're running a stock chip or you're running, you know, a lightly overclocked chip, um, you know, the gamer's not going to use as much CPU as they are GPU. And... Quiet is going to become a very, very important thing. So today we're going to take a look at the Shadow Rock Slim from Be Quiet, which offers increased compatibility, so you're going to be able to use large sticks of RAM, excellent cooling characteristics, and absolute quiet cooling. The Shadow Rock Slim comes in the standard Be Quiet packaging. You know, um, one of the things about the Be Quiet packaging a lot of times, it almost gives the appearance that this is a black cooler. It's not, obviously. It's a silver cooler. But you do get a picture of it on the front. 160-watt uh, TDP. And you do get a couple of features down here. Very high cooling efficiency. Um, Silence-optimized Be Quiet fan. Compact space-saving design. And... Can, um, completely compatible with Intel and AMD. It is compatible with Intel LG 775, 1150, 5556, 1366, and 2011, as well as AMD FM1, FM2, and AM2, AM3. Move around to the back, of course, get a little bit more explanation on some of the features, but let's take a couple of uh, looks at the specs real quick. Uh, 729 grams, so not a very heavy cooler at all. Uh, the fan itself, um, 1400 RPM max, it is PWM, of course, uh, putting out about 69 CFM. And really the uh, key point here, 20.8 dB. I mean, this is a really, really quiet fan uh, with good air movement. You know, Be Quiet's been great at that. And obviously no exception here. Um, the other thing we do want to look at, uh, it is 161 millimeters tall. Shouldn't be a problem in most mid-tower cases, but you might want to check your... Um, case compatibility, just to make sure, you know, that's not going to be an issue. So now let's get a look at the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim itself. As you can see, it comes fully assembled right in the box with the fan on it. As you see here, 135 millimeter fan, as we said, I just read off the specs to you. Comes off easily, two clips. And it is tied down the bottom. So let's just free it up, get it out of the way, and actually get a quick look at it. Fan clips do obviously come off. And you can see the Be Quiet design, as always, <clears throat> has the ridges in the fins, uh, the fan blades itself, so you get uh, actually better air pressure with uh, less noise. Be Quiet has been using this for quite a while with great success. Good looking fan, as always, from Be Quiet, as you see here. Now let's get the fan clips out of the way. As you can see, the Shadow Rock Slim is just that. It's slim. It's with the um, fan on it, only 74 millimeters thick. So you've got a very, very slim design here. So when it goes in the case, as we're going to see, you're going to have uh, compatibility with all four of your RAM slots, or all six as the case may be, depending on what uh, configuration you're using. Four six millimeter heat pipes, as you see. Uh, interesting design here, bringing them up through the center, as you see, staggered. Capped up top, beautiful top plate as always from Be Quiet. You know, um, Be Quiet does beautiful presentation and beautiful build on all of their designs. No exception here on the Shadow Rock Slim. Once again, uh, I love the capped heat uh, pipes up top as well with the Be Quiet logo embossed in the top. As you can see, fin structure is staggered and is not sealed around the sides. Um, this will, in fact, give off a little bit better heat dissipation with this particular fan. And as you can see, the uh, staggered in the middle, the uh, fin array is almost actually split, as you can see, going down the center. So you almost wind up with a dual tower here. Not really, though. It is joined, but it's a design we've uh, seen in use before and works very, very well. And contact plate, copper, of course, nickel plated, and absolutely mirror finish on the nickel plating as you see here. 
uh, very simple mounting points down the bottom, which we're gonna get into the mounting kit. And also, if you look on top of the contact block, you do have a very small ridge section here, which will provide a little bit of heat dissipation in itself. And that actually does work. We've seen uh, this from Be Quiet as well in the past, but overall, really a nice, nice build from Be Quiet. Good looking cooler, and like I say, very, very slim, so you're gonna get increased compatibility. Going into the accessories, uh, first thing we find, of course, is installation manual, very clearly laid out. The installation itself is actually very simple in um, the way it's done. So it's not a very detailed manual. It doesn't have to be because it's, like I say, it's a simple install. It's absolutely detailed enough, gives perfect pictures. So gonna be an easy install all along the way. Getting into the physical components, one size fits all backplate for AMD and Intel. Intel brackets, AMD brackets, small tube of thermal interface material. You've got two extra clips included, uh, fan clips. So if you do wanna run push-pull, not a problem at all. Fan clips are included. You'll have to supply the second fan yourself, obviously. Small wrench, which is used during the install. Uh, you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, but those are the only tools you're going to need. Um, and finally, the small bag, including all the nuts and bolts that are required for the install. Getting into the install, there is a little bit of prep work involved, whether you're doing AMD or Intel. Um, AMD, very simply, you can take your AMD brackets, put them into place, I have it upside down. Always make sure it's curving away from the top of the cooler, the plate, put it into place, Lined it up with the screw holes, and as you can see, it'll just screw into place with four small screws right into place. Now, Intel's a little bit more complicated. Um, first thing you'll have to do is put the nuts onto the uh, Intel retention brackets. Now, the reason it doesn't come assembled, uh, as you can see, there's three notches here. Inside notch for Intel 775 center for uh, 1150 series, outside for 1366. So you will have to actually select which um, mounting you're doing, insert the nut through into the correct slot, or I should say the bolt. It's actually a combination of nut and bolt. Um, put the nut on and just give it a little tweak down with the small included wrench. And then same thing, We'll go on just like the AMD brackets did, line it up, and four small screws will go into place to hold the retention brackets onto the cooler itself. Here you can see, I mean, really just very, very simple installation. So we've got that uh, all prepped up and we're going to move on to the case. So with the pre-assembly work done, we're gonna move on to the case. Uh, first step, obviously, get the back plate into place. Like I say, it's a one-size-fits-all back piece. Notice it's notched, so make sure if you're doing Intel, you get those notches lined up correctly. You don't wanna try and do it this way on an Intel uh, with this area butting the uh, back plate of the Intel, uh, Intel CPU. So you wanna get it into place. Obviously, if it's gonna be AMD, it's going this way. So just make sure you have uh, backplate going the right way. Now it is obviously a really wide backplate. Um, you know, just personal conjecture, I do wish they'd actually change the backplate a bit. Um, now we've used this particular install kit quite a bit on all the Be Quiet's in the past. Uh, the mounting kit is also shared with Scythe and we've been using them for quite a few years. Um, a lot of people have a beef with this particular install kit. And as you can see, obviously, once the back plates into place, you put your uh, screws through. A lot of people do have a gripe with this install kit. Uh, I also have a gripe with this install kit. However, it's not the same one that most people have. Um, my particular gripe with this kit is these screws right here. Uh, when you're putting them in, when you are, they are, uh, I think, too soft of a metal. The heads do tend to strip easily if care is not taken. If you take good care with them and you're careful with them, they're going to be fine. Um, if you don't, you're going to wind up stripping the heads and that becomes a bit of a problem. So just make sure you take care of when you are tightening everything down. All right, so put the back plate in place, obviously. Put the four screws through and we're good to move to the other side. With the back plate in place and the screws going through, as you can see, you'll see the screws going through. You've got four small caps 
which will just butt right up against the motherboard and clip onto the screws. And this will hold the whole assembly in place while you're working. Obviously, one clip on each screw. And like I said, they push right into place on the screws. There's actually, uh, at the bottom of the thread, a blank part of the screw that it just clips right on. Really easy to get into place. Okay, we've got the back plate in place and I've gone ahead and applied the thermal interface material. Now, next we get to the step of actually mounting the cooler itself. That it seems to get so many people uh, just kind of wigged out. Um, personally, I don't have an issue with it. Obviously, what we're trying to do, you've got the four nuts on the bottom of the cooler. You'll notice fan is on. Nor in the instructions does it tell you to take the fan off, nor do you have to. Um, obviously, you're going to get these four nuts right onto the uh, screws, and you're going to screw it in from the back. Obviously, we want to take off plastic film on the cooler itself. Now, I'm actually going to do the entire thing on camera, and first, just line up the first screw, get it seated, go around the back, and just give that screw a couple of quick turns, get it started. Once you've got that started, you can move to the second screw. And at that point, you know, they just start falling right into place. So now I've got two started. Get the third lined up. That started. And the final screw. Sorry, we've got all four started. And you can go around and tighten up from the back, screwing in. Obviously, use your uh, typical X pattern. So you want to tighten one, two, three, four. Not all the way, just a little bit at a time until the cooler is in place. Now, when you're screwing in, there is a stop. So when you feel the stop, on the screw, stop tightening. It's really that simple. And that's it. Cooler's in, tight, and in place. Um, so like I say, a lot of people, you know, seem to have an issue with that. Just, you know, really the trick is get the first one started. You know, get the first one lined up and the rest will fall into place. You don't want to tighten it all the way up. You just want to get a little bit of a start on it to, uh, and then start the second, start the third, start the fourth. Like I say, they fall into place and it's actually very, very easy. Once you've done that, the only thing you need to do is plug your uh, fan in, obviously, to your CPU fan header. All installed in the case. The Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim obviously is a very, very nice looking cooler. Brushed aluminum face and like I said, those heat pipe caps, really great appearance. Uh, install obviously wasn't bad at all. Like I say, do just take care when you're tightening down those four screws. You want to be careful not to strip them. Uh, obviously also, as you can see, full accessibility to all four RAM slots. You can put RAM in there as big as you like. Uh, Corsair Dominator Platinum, uh, Kingston Predator, yeah, doesn't matter. You can go as tall as you like. Doesn't impede the ra uh, RAM slots in any way, shape, or form. But now let's take a look at how it performs. Looking at the numbers, uh, under stock conditions on the 4770K, the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim obviously does a really nice job of uh, keeping the temperatures down. But what's really impressive here is the DB number, 28 DB. Uh, it actually might be lower than that. Uh, that was my room ambient, and the DB meter did not budge, um, bringing the Shadow Rock Slim up to full uh, fan capacity. 
Now, moving over, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. Uh, it is such a small cooler when we overclock the CPU, but as you can see, it does a very, very nice job of keeping the uh, CPU cool with a 4.4 gigahertz overclock. Um, and once again, still only 28 dB. So that's a very, very impressive showing. You know, a lot of coolers come over my test bench at, uh, here at High Tech Legion. And typically, you know, when I get a cooler and handle it the first time, you know, I kn pretty much know what to expect once I get it in the case as far as how it's going to perform. You know, but of course there are surprises at times. Now, when I got the Shadow Rock Slim, before I even opened the box, I knew it was going to be beautiful inside. I knew it was going to be beautiful, uh, beautifully constructed. Um, be Quiet always, always offers a top class package. No question about that. I knew it was going to be quiet. Uses the um, same fan as its larger sibling, the um, Dark Rock 3. But it's actually a tick quieter than the Dark Rock 3. Uh, I didn't expect it to be as quiet as it is. What I didn't expect, and I don't mind saying it, is I didn't expect this kind of performance out of it. I mean, it really was a phenomenal performer for such a small cooler. Uh, it actually was a phenomenal performer for any cooler in its price class. And, I mean, you add in the fact that it's so quiet that, you know, I mean, it's an obvious choice for an Editor's Choice Award. I mean, it's a really great design. Um, you know, like I say... In addition to, you know, keeping up with the NHU-12S as far as performance and being a tick quieter, I mean, it kept up with the much louder coolers, uh, you know, the Fantex 12DX. And, I mean, we won't even get into, you know, the comparison to the CLCs, which were just so much louder and couldn't, you know, overtake it in terms of performance. So, obviously, like I say, Editor's Choice Award and the uh, Shadow Rock Slim is really a top recommendation. If you're looking for something that's going to give you some RAM compatibility, even if you don't care about RAM compatibility, you just want an air cooler that's going to be dead silent. I mean, you can't beat this. Performance is spot on. It's beautiful to look at. Uh, installation, like I say, I don't love those screws. You know, just take some care with them. Um, but other than that, I mean, installation is very easy. And, you know, it just, uh, like I say, the performance is just absolutely top class. So once again, Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim is taking home a High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award and very, very deservedly so.